There are many guilds in the solo leveling universe. Hunters join their forces to achieve a common goal. Fight for freedom and defeat the army of monsters that threaten the world. Among these groups, there are several that deserve to be distinguished due to their strength and therefore contribution to world security. Number 10. Night Guild The Night Guild used to be one of Korea's top five guilds. It first appeared in Chapter 91 of the Webtoon adaptation. Its members joined forces with the rest of Korea's leading guilds to organize a joint raid on Jeju Island. This guild is known for recruiting many A-rank hunters. One of the most important members and the guild master was Park Jong-soo. He showed remarkable strength, effortlessly fending off a twin-headed ogre without any apparent effort or harm to himself. Additionally, he could create an unbreakable shield for self-defense. Other key members included Vice Guild Master and an A-rank healer. The guild had the responsibility of protecting the Yeongnam region in South Korea and all the gates in that area. Of course, their emblem represented an armored knight. Number 9. Fiend Guild The Fiend Guild used to be the top-ranking guild in South Korea until it split into two parts. This happened when some members decided to create their own guild. The leader of the Fiend Guild was also one of the top 10 S-rank hunters in South Korea, making him an important character in the story. He was the best archer-type hunter in Korea, even though he was skilled in fighting without using his bow. Another well-known member of the guild was Lee Min-sung, an A-rank hunter. The Fiend Guild was recognized as a raid team in Jeju Island. Their base was located in the Seoul metropolitan area which was a hunting ground shared by both the Hunter's Guild and White Tiger. Their emblem represented a Reaper, which was the reason why they were called the Reaper Guild. Number 8. White Tiger Guild The White Tiger Guild used to be part of the Fiend Guild in South Korea, but later separated under the leadership of the powerful S-rank hunter Baek Yun ho Over time, it became one of the most famous and best guilds in South Korea, even surpassing the Fiend Guild. Baek, the guild master of White Tiger, was among South Korea's top 10 S-rank hunters and one of the strongest characters in the series. Known for his extraordinary physical strength, superhuman speed, and the ability to transform into a White Tiger-like creature. In addition to the leader, the White Tiger guild had several strong hunters, whom we will meet in the series. The guild's name and symbol were basically based on its leader and his ability to transform into the White Tiger. Number 7. Fame Guild The Fame Guild used to be one of the top five guilds in South Korea. It used to govern and protect the Honam region, and it shared provinces with the Knight Guild. Fame Guild Master was another of South Korea's top 10 S-rank hunters. He could double his physical size, which allowed him to gain enormous physical strength and powers. Ma Dong-wook also used to have a high level of endurance that he often showed during his battles. For instance, while he was destroying top-grade monsters on Jeju Island, he managed to entirely block the Ant Queen during the extermination raid. Their emblem looked like it symbolized a knight with a crown. Number 6. India Guild Association Even though India didn't boast numerous S-rank hunters, there was one notable exception. A hunter at the national level with an S rating stood out. Notably, he was an active member of the India Association Guild, he held the position of India's top hunter, being one of only five national-level hunters globally. Moreover, he possessed psychokinetic abilities associated with the ruler and their human hosts, known as the ruler's authority. These abilities, combined with his exceptional strength and speed, marked him as a formidable force. And it was because of this one-man army that the India Guild Association was placed sixth. Number 5. Hunter's Guild the Hunter's Guild was considered one of the strongest guilds in Korea. One of their notable members was Cha In, an S-rank hunter and the Vice Guild leader. She was a friend of the main protagonist and ranked as the third strongest hunter in Korea due to her impressive strength, speed, and durability. Cha In was also a skilled swordsman with a unique attack style that enhanced her assault speed and gave her graceful, dance-like movements. The guild master of the Hunter's Guild, also known as the Ultimate Soldier, was another memorable character. He was an S-rank hunter specializing in fire magic, flame spears, flaming dragons, and flame jail. The guild emblem represents the three major roles in Raid Party, Vanguard, Tank, and Ranged Attackers. They also highly valued their support teams, like the Mining Roles. 
Number 4. Draw Sword Guild Draw Sword Guild used to be Asia's second largest and Japan's most powerful guild. At that time, the guild had 11 S-rank hunters, which made them a very strong group. Kotor Yuji, an S-rank fighter and the leader of the Draw Sword Guild, was highly respected. He was recognized as Japan's best hunter due to his extraordinary strength. Moreover, his exceptional skill with the sword was unparalleled. Draw Sword Guild emblem showed swords intersecting each other. Number 3. China Guild Association China boasted the highest number of S-rank hunters in Asia, using a grading system ranging from 1 to 5 stars, deviating from the traditional S to E scale. Among them was Liu, renowned as the Hero of China and a prominent figure in the China Guild Association. He stood out as the country's finest hunter, holding the prestigious title of one of the five national-level hunters, securing the second spot globally. Liu achieved a remarkable feat as the sole Chinese hunter to attain a seven-star ranking, a testament to his extraordinary abilities. He was recognized for his immense power, showcasing unique telekinetic skills associated with the rulers and their human vessels. Additionally, Liu showed remarkable strength and speed, solidifying his position as a remarkable force with the hunter community. Number 2. Scavenger Guild The Scavenger Guild was the largest guild in the United States, housing many S-rank hunters. The leader, Thomas Andre, was the toughest tank globally, holding the top spot among the five national-level hunters. His abilities included extraordinary strength, causing the ground to collapse, psychokinesis, and incredible speed. Scavenger Guild could also boast of taking over one of the S-rank hunters from Korea and also trying to take over the main protagonist, but to no avail. Additionally, rumors suggested that Christopher Reed used to be part of the guild. After being named a national-level hunter, he left. The Scavenger Guild has a symbol that looks like a hyena, perfectly reflecting their guild name. Number 1. Ajin Guild the Ajin Guild, the most powerful in Korea, was created when the main character founded it in Chapter 121. Sun Jin Woo has become the most powerful hunter in the universe. Jin Woo's powers made him a guild all on his own, and a strong one too. His abilities include super strength, tough armor, resistance to debuffs, detoxification, tenacity, long life, stealth, bloodlust, incredible speed, rulership, dragon sphere, shadow extraction, shadow preservation, shadow exchange, and lastly, monarch's domain. With this impressive skill set, he became the most powerful hunter globally. The name Ajin symbolized Sun Jin Wu's wish to progress independently and conquer all. However, he playfully claimed that he merely flipped the name of his sister. The guild emblem took on the shape of a shadow soldier.